crochet friends I'm Tiffany and welcome to my channel today we're gonna crochet a Santa hat with a bobble brim and a bobble pom-pom this is gonna be the adult size so the size you'll find in the store in the Christmas aisle just like that one size fits all okay so we're gonna make the brim first so you need your I 5.25 and your white or just whatever colors you're customizing with we're gonna do the bobbles first and so basically what we're doing is we're making a long rectangle and then we are going to fold it in half and it's going to create your brim and then we'll attach the red and go this way with it now we're going to do a slip knot i lay my yarn like this and then i pinch the bottom with my thumb and pointer pinch the top with my middle and ring finger make a heart with your thumb and pointer go underneath the loop kind of just under your nails turn just your right hand facing down turn both your hands together grab this yarn hold on to that and then pull your hands apart and it'll cinch up then take your hook and go through the loop pull on these two strands get that knot closer to your hook and then see through it a little bit so it's not too snug so we're gonna start by chaining 12 so go in front of your yarn wrap the yarn around and take that loop through the first loop on your hook and then do that 11 more times go in front of the yarn wrap it around take that loop through the first loop on your hook just like that okay so just for the first row we are going to do a single crochet in every single chain starting with the second chain from the hook so you don't count this loop that's your first chain and that's your second chain so go into the chain first and I like just going under the top loops go behind your yarn pull the yarn through your chain you have two loops go in front of your yarn wrap it around and take that yarn through both of these loops for one single crochet and then just do that all the way down so go in the next chain behind your yarn pull it through your chain wrap the yarn around take it through both of these loops and you should have 11 single crochets so just repeat this all the way down I will see you in a second okay for row two we're gonna chain one and turn so that space right there is the first stitch so for row two, you're going to do a single crochet there. And then in the next stitch, you're going to do a bobble. So what you're going to do is wrap the yarn around first, then go into the next stitch, go behind your yarn, pull it through your stitch, wrap the yarn around, Take that yarn just through the first two loops. And you're gonna repeat that four more times. So wrap the yarn around, go into the same stitch, go behind your yarn, pull the yarn through the stitch, wrap the yarn around, pull that yarn just through the first two loops. So we just need three more and keep going in the same stitch it does all fit it just gets a little snug and one more you have six loops on your hook so to finish the bobble you're gonna wrap the yarn around take that yarn through all six of these loops so pull down on your work at the same time it kind of gives you a gap under all those loops to pull it through so it's not gonna do that bobble shape yet it's pretty flat 
So to get it to pop out, you're just gonna do a single crochet in the next stitch. So go straight down in the stitch, grab the yarn, pull it through the stitch. You have two loops, wrap the yarn around, pull through both of the loops. and it just pushed it that way. So if you turn it, now you have a bobble. So now you're gonna do a single crochet in each of the next two stitches. So just go into the very next one, do one single crochet, go into the next one and do one single crochet. Now in the next stitch, we're gonna do another bobble so wrap the yarn around first, go into the next stitch, go behind your yarn, pull it through your stitch, wrap the yarn around, pull through two loops only. And do that four more times into the same exact stitch. So one, three, and four. And you have six loops on your hook. So wrap the yarn around, pull down on your work, and take that yarn through all six loops. Then do a single crochet in the next stitch. And it makes that bobble pop out. Now do a single crochet in each of the next two stitches again. And in the next. And in the next stitch, we're gonna do a bobble. So wrap the yarn around first, go into the next stitch, grab your yarn, pull it through, wrap the yarn around, pull through two. Wrap the yarn around, pull down on your work, and pull that yarn all the way through. And now you have one stitch left. It just faces the back a little bit. So go into your last stitch. Just don't forget about it. Hold on. And you might have as much trouble as I do. And then do your single crochet to finish that bobble. Now for row three, we're gonna chain one and turn. If you turn your work at the top, you'll see all those V's again. Some are bigger than others because that's your bobbles but you're gonna go under all of them. You'll still have 11 stitches and you're just gonna do a single crochet. So this space right here is your first stitch. Single crochet. And then the next stitch will be a little bit bigger of a V because that's the top of your bobble. And the next three stitches will be fairly normal. Because those are just single crochets from the previous row. And then your next one is a little bit longer of a V because that's your second bobble. 
but that's all you're doing for this row. Okay, for row four, we're gonna chain one and turn. And in the next three stitches, you're gonna do one single crochet in each of them. And then we're going to do a bobble. So wrap the yarn around first, go into that next stitch, grab your yarn, pull it through, wrap the yarn around, pull through two. You have your six loops on top, wrap the yarn around, pull down on your work, pull that yarn through all of the loops. And then you're gonna do a single crochet in the very next stitch. To make it pop out. Now do a single crochet in each of the next two stitches. And then in the next stitch, we're gonna do another bobble. Wrap the yarn around, go into the next stitch, grab your yarn, pull it through, wrap the yarn around, pull through two. Six loops on top, wrap the yarn around, pull through. And then do a single crochet in each of the next three stitches. So of course the next one to complete your bobble to make it pop out and then the next two stitches as well. For row five you're going to chain one and turn and you're just going to repeat row three where you did a single crochet in every single stitch across. And you should still have 11 stitches. And those Stitches on top of the bobbles are just a little bit bigger, but they all look like bees on top. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, so for row six, you're gonna chain one and turn. So now we're gonna repeat row two to row five over and over and over until you reach row 72. So if you need help, just rewind the video, go back to row two, it's the same exact steps. So just to start you off, you do a single crochet in the first stitch and you do a bobble in the next. And then after that bobble, do a single crochet in the next to complete that bobble, make it pop out. Then do one single crochet in each of the next two stitches. And then you're gonna do a bobble in the next and then single crochet in the next three stitches a bobble in the next and one single crochet at the very end and that's how you're going to get your three bobbles so just to save time I went ahead and did 72 so this would be your uh, row five technically or was this a bobble row hold on sorry we're finishing <laughs> not on a row five we finished on a row four 
because we just want two bobbles. We don't want a single crochet row because you want this to be as little of a gap, hold on, as possible when you go to seam it because we started with three bobbles. We're gonna end with two bobbles. And if you make a single crochet row, it kind of makes it even more of a gap. You want this to kind of blend and not look like there is a seam. So I apologize. I did this a, a few days ago. I've been putting away all our fall decorations to get ready for our Christmas decorations and I kind of forgot how I left this off. So let me real quick do my last bobble and then just three single crochets and I'll meet back up with you. Okay, now we're cooking. Now we're finished. So just pull on your yarn and you don't need a lot because you're just gonna seam up just this distance. So just pull your yarn through. Put this on your darning needle and you're gonna take the ends together like this. So you're gonna do a whip stitch seam. So this is where your yarn is. You're gonna go underneath and out the top of your first, they're like the chains you started with. As long as you go under something that's like on that edge, you're gonna come up and over to the same spot over here, go down through it, go back to that same stitch over here. So the bottom out the top again, kind of just locks it in place. Hold on. Okay, so I just took one loop out. Sometimes if you get too far ahead, it doesn't wanna pull all the way. So I'm gonna pull it all the way first and then just do where I go right back up over here. It just didn't want to pull it for me. So you're just going to go under the stitches over here. So both stitches, just like you would take your crochet hook under them to do like a single crochet row, go under those top two loops and then go over. So out the bottom or from the bottom out the top of the next stitch. The two chains you didn't go through, you don't really need to know any of that, but there's some spaces you can go in. So just go under your top two loops, go across from the bottom out the top. And you're just doing that all the way down. And what I like to do is with my first tail, I just like to double knot this. And you can weave that in on underneath or lay it along your work when you do the next step or it's double knotted so technically you can just cut it off so maybe for this video I'll just cut it off so it's out the way so now grab your second color and you're gonna make your slip knot again so you can fast forward the video or slow it down if you want to follow along Now you're going to put your crochet hook through a stitch because you're going to go on the sides now. So you want to kind of keep it consistent. So this would be a stitch I go under. There's two loops kind of like a chain and then right next to it there's a hole. Like right there and then again there's another like chain. You can kind of see that hole right next to it. There's another chain and then right next to it. It's really easy to figure out your rows by those stitches because we're going to go under every single one. You're going to have 72 stitches because you had 72 rows. So since this is like where I'm tied off, it's really easy to go somewhere else like not that type of area like a actual stitch like that so go under the stitch first grab your slip knot get it ready and then pull it through that stitch and then you're going to chain one 
and you're gonna go into the same exact stitch right there and do a single crochet and I'm gonna work under my tail so you lay your tail along your work so you don't have to weave that in so do a single crochet and see that hole right there that's that next stitch I'm going in do your next single crochet and then this is that chain for my next stitch and then there's that hole right next to it like that so I'm laying my tail along my work so I don't have to weave it in while I am doing this and you just do this all the way around so now you're gonna slip stitch to your first single crochet so just go under the top of the stitch and you're gonna do a slip stitch so go behind your yarn pull the yarn through the stitch and then take that yarn through the first loop on your hook so now you're gonna switch to your other crochet hook now to start round two we are going to chain two and in the same exact stitch you're gonna do a double crochet so wrap the yarn around first go into that stitch go behind your yarn pull the yarn through the stitch wrap the yarn around pull it through the first two loops kind of like your bobbles except right now you're gonna wrap the yarn around and go through the last two loops you're gonna do one double crochet in every single stitch that you had so you had 72 you're gonna have 72 double crochets now so wrap the yarn around first go into the next stitch go behind your yarn pull it through your stitch wrap the yarn around pull through the first two loops and then wrap the yarn around pull through the last two loops and just keep doing that okay I have my 72 double crochets so you're gonna find your first double crochet not your chain twos so this is the first one this is the top of the first one go there and you're gonna do your slip stitch so go behind your yarn pull it through the stitch and then take that yarn through the first loop on your hook and make sure it's fairly snug uh, you don't want like a bigger gap for your seam so I didn't mention we are going to have a straight seam when you work in rounds that seam starts to slant if you don't do anything about your stitches so let me find the seam there's the seam so this is the seam it's right here this is the seam for the red you can see a little bit like something's going on right here but you can't quite tell that's the seam it is in one straight line if it wasn't if we were not doing anything special with the design it'll start going like this <laughs> and like throughout the whole hat so when I make my purses and uh, different hats when I work in rounds like this I change the pattern a little bit so that that doesn't happen so that that seam stays in one spot and it's pretty invisible I don't remember how I had that but that's where you're going okay so for round three we are gonna chain two that's also part of how we get our straight seam because you're going to make it so that it looks like an invisible seam. It blends in. If you chain two instead of chaining three, that helps. Having a pretty snug slip stitch, that helps. So we're going to repeat the same exact round. Go into that same stitch. Do a double crochet. and do a double crochet in every single stitch around for 72 double crochets super simple round 
So you're going to go to the first double crochet of the round to the top of it and do your slip stitch. So for round four, you're going to chain two. And for this round, we're going to skip this first stitch and do our double crochet in the next stitch. This is how we're going to get the straight seam. And you won't have a gap in the end, but that's how it should look. So just continue do your 71 double crochets. I'll meet you back when you reach 71 and show you where to do the 72nd double crochet. So the stitch we skipped over at the beginning is the stitch you're going to go into with your 72nd double crochet. And it's going to kind of cover these two chain twos right here. Just kind of like crisscross in front of them. So wrap the yarn around, go into the stitch you skipped at the beginning to do your double crochet. So it's in front of those chain twos and it's going to push your seam back over because <clears throat> if we kept, like this is a chain two, this is a chain two, they would go over here. Like that's how you start, even with just a couple rows, you're already scooting. So this gets you back to this area again, and you'll just keep getting back to the area every three rounds. So your first double crochet, you're going to slip stitch there. Now for round five, six, and seven, we are going to repeat these three rounds. So just to get you started, you're going to chain two and in that same stitch do your first double crochet and then go all the way around doing your 72 and I'll meet you back here. Slip stitch to your first one. Chain two round six and repeat that same round so go into the same stitch do your first double crochet and in every single stitch around do your slip stitch to your first double crochet Okay, I just took out my round seven, so I'll just have to write on the screen uh, so that you just know you definitely do five and six the same way we were doing it, just not seven. So I left my chain two. We still will start in the next stitch because we're going to still do our straight seam. We're going to do one double crochet in the next seven stitches. So just make sure you're starting in the next stitch not that first one we're still gonna get our straight seam so that was one we need six more double crochets and then we are going to double crochet two together so wrap the yarn around first go into the next stitch grab your yarn pull through wrap the yarn around pull through two and you're not going to do anything, you're just going to do that again in the next stitch. So wrap the yarn around, go into the next one, grab your yarn, pull up a loop, wrap the yarn around, pull through two, and you have three loops. Wrap the yarn around, pull through all three. So it's kind of like a beginning of a bobble, if you think about it. And you're just going to repeat that all the way around. You're going to do seven double crochets one and now you're going to double crochet two together so wrap the yarn around first go into the next stitch grab your yarn pull up a loop wrap the yarn around pull through two wrap the yarn around go into the next stitch grab your yarn pull it through wrap the yarn around pull through two 
you have three loops, wrap the yarn around, pull through the three loops. Just continue that all the way around. You're gonna do that eight total times. So we did that two times. You just need six more times. Okay, this is my last group of seven double crochets. So you're gonna go into the next stitch and start your double crochet two together. And then the next part of that is gonna be the stitch you skipped at the beginning. So you're gonna go into that space to finish the double crochet two together like that. How you have your three loops and then wrap the yarn around, pull through all three like that. And then you're gonna slip stitch to that first double crochet like normal. You're gonna chain two to start round eight. And this round is simple because you're just going to do a double crochet in every single stitch. So go into that same stitch, do a double crochet there, and all the way around. And you will keep your 64 stitches by doing this round. Do your slip stitch to your first double crochet. And then chain two to start round nine. So you're gonna go into that first stitch and do a double crochet. And then for this round, you're gonna do six total double crochets and then double crochet two together. Four, six, and then do a double crochet two together with the next two stitches. And you're going to repeat that around. So six double crochets and then double crochet two together, six double crochets, double crochet two together. This is where you're going to slip stitch to your first double crochet. So chain two to start round 10. And that crisscross was, like I said, down here, it's every three rounds. So this is the round where we need to crisscross again to keep our straight seam. And we're not going to do any decreases. This is just double crochets in every single stitch. And you're going to start with that next double crochet right here, like the next stitch, not the same one. Like that. And then do your, this will be 55 um, if you need help with the 56th double crochet. Okay, this is my 55th double crochet. So the next stitch is a slip stitch. So that's not where you go in you go in the stitch you skipped over and it crisscrosses in front of those chain twos like that and then slip stitch to your first double crochet okay for round 11 we're going to chain two and you do start in the same stitch do one double crochet and for this round you're gonna do five total double crochets and then double crochet two together and five and then do a double crochet two together with the next two stitches like that and then you're going to do that all the way around so just repeat five double crochets and double crochet two together eight total times so we just did one now we need seven total times and you'll have 48 stitches for that round so i'll meet you here at the end do your slip stitch to the first double crochet 
And for round 12, we are going to chain two and in that same stitch, start with your double crochet. Like that, and then all the way around, no decreases for this round. So you're gonna have 48 double crochets again. After that round, slip stitch to your first double crochet and then chain two. So for round 13, we are going to start in the next stitch right here. This is where we need to do our crisscross. So we need to start in this next stitch. So do your double crochet there. And then we're gonna do four double crochets and then double crochet two together all the way around and four and then do a double crochet two together and repeat that so you're doing that eight times all the way around and that double crochet two together at the end is going to crisscross over. So if you need help with that, I can meet back up with you and uh, walk you through that step. So I have my next stitch. There is a slip stitch, so you don't do anything with that. This is the stitch you skipped. So you need this one and this one to do your double crochet two together. So start the first half and then go to the beginning where you skipped. To finish your decrease and then slip stitch to your first double crochet like normal and then chain two to start round 14 now you're gonna go into that first stitch do your double crochet And you're going to go into every single stitch all the way around. So I don't think I mentioned that you'd have 40 um, double crochets for that round. You're going to have 40 again because um, you're not decreasing. So 40 double crochets. Just go into every single stitch. You're going to slip stitch to your first double crochet. And then for this next round, round 15, you're going to chain two. And every two rounds we're going to repeat so the next two rounds that i show you you're just going to do that over and over except every third round you're going to do a the crisscross so that we keep our seam straight but basically the first round of the repeat you're going to do a double crochet two together with the first and next stitch of the round so you're going to start with a double crochet two together and then in every single stitch around you're just going to do one double crochet so you're only decreasing by one and then the next round we are going to do a double crochet two together at the end of the round only just knowing that every third round you need to do that crisscross so we don't need to do the crisscross yet so remember the first round of the repeat is double crochet two together with the first two stitches so you will go into that same stitch first to do your double crochet two together. Just like that. And then one double crochet in every stitch all the way around. And you had 40 stitches for the previous round. You're only gonna go down by one by doing just the decrease right here. So now you're gonna have 39 single or double crochets or stitches, however you wanna look at it. Now all you do is slip stitch to your first double crochet, which is the double crochet two together. So just go to the top of that stitch and do your slip stitch. Now for round 16, you are gonna chain two and this was our crisscross round, and we do that every three rounds. So now for this round, you're gonna do a double crochet two together at the end of this round, 
and only one double crochet around till then. So remember, we're skipping the first stitch and going into the next to get that done, that crisscross. Just do your one double crochet there and one double crochet all the way around, leaving two stitches. So you're gonna go up to 37 double crochets, which would end you right here. So I'm gonna go into the next stitch and the stitch we skipped over at the beginning to do the decrease. So go into the next stitch. The next one is your slip stitch, so don't go there. Go into the stitch you skipped at the beginning to complete your double crochet two together. Now slip stitch to your first double crochet. Now for round 17, you're gonna chain two, and these next two rounds is gonna be the exact pattern because you don't have to worry about the crisscross. So we need to do our double crochet two together at the beginning of this round, and you're gonna start in that same stitch. Do your double crochet two together. Also with the next stitch, just like that. Now one double crochet in every single stitch all the way around. Super easy round and you had 38 double crochets, you're gonna have 37 double crochets for this round. You're going to slip stitch to your first stitch. And for round 18, you're gonna chain two, and you're gonna start in that first stitch and do one double crochet there. And one double crochet all the way around till you have two stitches left. And that's where we're gonna do our double crochet two together for this round. Okay, I have two stitches left, so that's where you're going to do your decrease. So go into the second to the last stitch and the last stitch. Oh. So slip stitch to your first double crochet. For round 19, you're going to chain two, and we are back to a crisscross round because this is our third round now, and we still need to do our double crochet two together at the beginning of this round, but we are skipping that first stitch. So start your double crochet two together in the next stitch. So you would be technically going into the second and third stitch of this round to do your decrease, just like that. Now you're going to do your one double crochet in every single stitch all the way around, including that crisscross. So I can meet you towards the end and show you that. Okay, I have one stitch left, which is the one I skipped at the beginning and it's just one double crochet right there because we did our decrease at the beginning. So now slip stitch to your first stitch. So now the next two rounds, we don't have to worry about that crisscross. Chain two to start this round and you're gonna go into that same stitch to do one double crochet And you're gonna do one double crochet all the way around till you have two stitches left because you're gonna do your decrease, your double crochet two together at the end of this round. So just do one double crochet till you have two stitches left. And that's where I'm gonna do my decrease. So go into the second to the last stitch and the last stitch. 
and then slip stitch to your first double crochet of the round. So for round 21, we're going to chain two and we need to double crochet two together at the beginning of the round and we're not doing the crisscross yet. So just go into that same stitch and the next stitch. Just like that. And then do one double crochet in every single stitch all the way around. And then you're gonna have 33 stitches for that round. So I'm not going to go over the rest of the rounds with you. I just wanted to walk you through some of the examples where we need to double crochet two together when we have a crisscross round at the beginning and at the end. You're gonna go all the way to round 28 and that round is gonna have 26 stitches in it. Now all you're gonna do is cut off your yarn and you want enough to seam up the top and weave in that tail to secure it. So just pull your yarn through. And what you're gonna do is go through the stitches like you would your crochet hook and skip some stitches. You don't wanna go under every single one you're just going to go in and out. And it's difficult um, when the hat gets shrunk this small, it, you have to rotate it. I've made it all the way around and all you're going to do is just pull on this tail all the way the yarn is going this way. You're gonna go back this way to lock it in place. So pull really tight, kind of hold on to it, and then just go in the opposite direction to lock it in. So pulling that really tight and then pulling it through. And that way it won't come undone and you don't have to hold it now so you can either weave this in on the outside. I mean, the pom-pom is going to hide this. So you can weave this in. Just go in different directions. Don't stay in one spot. So now you need to rewind this video all the way to the beginning. We are literally just making another brim, just not as wide. So you're going to repeat every single step, making sure that the first tail, though, is long enough because we are going to fold this in half and so the way that the yarn ends this tail this is the final what you're crocheting with it can seam up this distance but it's right here so this also needs to be seamed up just make sure that this beginning tail is long enough repeat all those same steps exactly like the beginning of this video, but you're just gonna stop at row 25, which is a single crochet row. Okay, so when you're all the way done, you're gonna cut off your yarn, but you wanna make sure that you have plenty to weave in and plenty to attach it to your hat. So maybe like, I don't know, two feet or so. And then you're gonna flip this, fold it, and you just need this tail to seam up this side. And I'm going to hold it like this. So this is that bottom tail that you don't need. You're just going to whip stitch this. So I'm on this side. You're going to come over here, go under some yarn, and then you're going to come back over to the side. Go under some yarn. And make sure you pull it snug as you go because if you go too far down and start to pull it, it doesn't want to cinch it up. So you're on the top, come up and over. And you can open it so you can kind of like see what you're doing a little bit better 
and then just go back in the other direction so that you can secure this tail and you can also poke it through on the inside of your pom-pom and weave it in on the inside. That way you don't see it. And then cut your tail or you could leave it, it doesn't matter. This is gonna be tucked in on the inside. So that tail was right here and we just seamed up this side. Okay, and we're just gonna whip stitch again along this side. So I'm gonna kind of put my fingers on the inside so she can see what I'm doing, but just go under stitches and loops on both of your sides. Pull it all the way through. And you're just going to keep going up and over under some loops. You're going to stuff this with a handful of the polyfill. And then this is how you're gonna get that round shape just by stuffing it. Kinda eyeball the amount. <laughs> it's just a handful, I don't know, a couple handfuls. If you don't fill it full enough, um, you're, you might not get that round shape. So, okay, so now what you're gonna do is exactly how you seamed up the top of your Santa hat, you're gonna go in a circle. Just go under some stitches and go in and out. So like go inside the pom-pom, out the pom-pom. And don't go through every single one either. So like I'm over here, kind of skipped some of the loops. Make sure that polyfill is on the inside and then cinch this up. And the yarn, I'm trying to hold it because it's the polyfill is going to want this to open. So this is where the yarn is going. You want to go back in the opposite direction to lock it in just like the top of the Santa hat. So pull it really tight and then just go backward. like that and then just manipulate it and you have a pom-pom a bobble pom-pom <laughs> if you look around your pom-pom you're gonna see some flat spaces so I'm gonna hide that and this is the part that is going to touch so this is the flat part that will be connected and this is where the yarn is so I need to get that yarn to this area so I'm going to just go through on the inside of the pom-pom so all you're going to do is go to the top of your Santa hat find some stitches or just some yarn go through it this is how you're going to attach it to your hat now just go like through the hat through the pom-pom and you can do this as many times as you want to secure your pom-pom
Hopefully you love this pattern and it was easy to follow. The bobble stitch might take some time, but it is so worth it in the end. And have fun crocheting your Santa hats. Bye crochet friends.